Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, aka Mike Daddy, aka Magnificent Mikey. And as of right now, this is the last reminder for the power leveling weekend. Uh, you know, I'm recording this on January 9th at night. Uh, so January 10th, when I wake up, this is uh, going to be over. 7 a.m. Eastern, okay? So by the time I wake up, this is definitely going to be done. And by a lot, by the time a lot of you hear this, it's going to be done unless you are one of the, uh, you know, uh, there's a, quite a lot of you, but uh, in comparison to how many people actually listen to the show, the the few of you that actually listen to this, like, right the <laughs> second that it drops, uh, make sure that uh, you uh, hear this message and Take advantage of it and get in the game and uh, get as much out of the power leveling as you can before it goes away. Uh, I know I was able to take a little advantage of it this weekend, and uh, I, I, you know, I I leveled up pretty decently, so I, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, I uh, what am I now? Level 70. So I went in somewhere. I think I started out in like the high 50s or mid 50s and now i'm level 70 uh just over the weekend so you know i i gotta I'm, i gotta be pretty happy with that uh let's go ahead and uh move on and look at the ltms because you know what there's not uh any news to talk about today uh it's just, it's just you know a slow weekend now we got a small hot fix update last weekend or last week that brought us the uh the shield kegs right well, uh, I, you know, this week should be the week that we get our normal uh, scheduled, like, content, not just content update, but an actual update. So uh, I will be uh, ready and excited for that because, you know, we, we, we had a nice long Christmas break and I, I, I'm ready for uh, a, an update for sure. Even though the season is brand new, I'm ready for uh, some. I'm ready for some things to start. Uh, you know, getting added in or taken out or adjusted, and uh, get make make things exciting every couple of weeks. You know, something make they have something fresh every couple of weeks. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the LTM Zombie Island Ice Age, the Vault Free for All, and vehicles. Prop Hunt, Modern Mall, XP, Zone Wars, Downhill River, Chapter 3, Tilted Zone Wars, XA, FPS, Window Wars, Tycoon, 500 Levels, Default Death Run, Finest Realistic, 1v1, or 4v4, 4v4, v4, v4, uh, Just Drive, Paradise City, and a whole lot more to be discovered in that Discover tab. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about some more quests. Uh, let's see here. We need to claim an abandoned tent. Okay, so what are you going to do? I mean, there's no place in particular that you can just go and uh, know exactly where the abandoned tents are going to be. But you can land at the named locations you know, the named POIs, and you're going to likely find an abandoned tent in those locations. Uh, I seem to find a lot at Sleepy Sound, I have noticed, uh, or Condo Canyon. It seems like I always run into uh, abandoned tents in those locations, so maybe you could try those. Even Rocky Reels actually is another place that I have frequently seen the abandoned tent so that would be another good place to uh, check out and see if uh, you can find one but yeah all you have to do is walk up to it and interact with it and and claim it so it's uh, just that easy you just have to uh, come across one uh, let's go ahead and head on over to the item shop and see what it is that we have in the item shop today uh, we have the Get Far Out set so this is the tie-dye items uh, we have the Get Far out bundle which is 2400 which is uh no wait it's 2500 which is 2400 off the total it also includes the far out vibes harvesting tool and the world die back bling each model 
uh, is 800 V-Bucks itself, and the Far Out Vibes Harvesting Tool is 500, and the World Die Back Bling being 400. We also have the Versa outfit with the Frenzy Back Bling for 1,500. The Bracer outfit for 800. The Fission Emo for 500. The Insert Laughter Here Emo for 200. The Adorbs Wrap for 300. On Your Marks Emo for 200. And let's see here. We got the Dark Tricera Ops outfit with the Dark Hatchling Back Bling for 1,200. The Dark Rex outfit with the Dark Scaly Back Bling for 1,200. The Dark Dino Bones Harvesting Tool for 800. The Hard Charger outfit for 800. The Moto Case Back Bling for 200. The Stunt Cycle Glider for 800. The Hugo outfit with the emissary bag back bling and the butterfly knife emote for 1,200. The butterfly knives harvesting tool for 800. And that looks like everything today. So you can get any and all of these items using code Mikey, M M M I K I E, in the item shop, and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show. Okay, uh, that's going to be. The episode for today. Yeah, I worked every day this week. I'm going to work every day next week, probably too, it looks like. Uh, hopefully I get some days off and uh, we'll we'll get to play uh, sometime soon. I, you know, I'd love to have another get together uh, on the, you know, start having get togethers again on the weekend. Uh, hopefully we'll be getting back to that soon and uh, things will start settling down at work. So I'll keep you updated and let you know. But for now, uh, make sure you go join the daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. Head over to Apple Podcasts. Leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Uh, we have a couple this week. We got one from Hairlip that says, Love the podcast. I love to listen to this every day while I'm running or just while I'm chilling out. Thank you for making the podcast and keep on making more p.s could you add me my name is will north 10 hey will north 10 uh just go ahead and send me a request and i will try to remember to uh look at my friend requests and accept it in there so thank you so much for that five star rating and review and uh yeah go ahead and add me we got one here from Houst or houst five stars it says the io have made their show on wednesday january 5th the very first io driller has made an appearance if you go south of the log jam lumber yard you will find a pile of dirt with an imagined order drill in front of it with two io guards protecting it there will be four more drills appearing and two of them will have a boss with a mythic stinger smg and a mythic striker pump shotgun and there will be a way between the IO and the foundation, so this will be a great season chapter. Also, the shield keg heals for 150 shields, so it is very handy. Yes, that is for sure. Uh, you know, I had heard about the drill showing up. I haven't actually checked it out yet myself, and, uh, you know, that's something I definitely need to dive into more now that uh, I don't have to, you know, I'm working every day st still, it looks like, but at least I'm, you know, not working like 14 hours a day every day or more so I, I definitely need to go into some youtube videos and check out what's been going on and added to the map and the lore of this new chapter and season a little bit more i definitely need to do some more diving into that so maybe i'll do that this weekend uh we'll maybe try to do like a uh for me a catch-up uh, episode next week on what's going on uh, around the map and the lore this season uh, all right thank you for that uh, that's going to be the episode. So, uh, until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm.